School teacher Claude Kotek and her children should all have been back to school weeks ago. But a crisis in Lebanon's education sector has left them lounging around at home. Lebanon's three-year financial meltdown has severely devalued the country's pound, pushing 80% of the population into poverty and gutting public services, including water and electricity. It has also left public schools closed so far this academic year, with teachers waging an open-ended strike over the severely devalued salaries. We used to get a salary high enough that I could afford to put my children in private school. From a monthly salary that was once about $3,000, Kotek now earns the equivalent of $100, forcing her to make a tough choice last summer. When we reached this current period, where our situation as public high school teachers worsened, I simply decided to move my children to public schools with me, like the students I am teaching and other people in Lebanon. Lebanon's education system has long been heavily reliant on private schools, which hosted almost 60% of the country's 1.25 million students, according to the Ministry of Higher Education. However, in the 2020 to 2021 school year alone, the financial strain on households meant around 55,000 students transitioned from private to public schools, according to the World Bank. But public education has been historically underfunded, with the government earmarking less than 2% of GDP to education in 2020, the World Bank says. That's one of the lowest rates in the Middle East and North Africa. The head of United Nations Children Agency in Lebanon told Reuters that about a third of children in the country are not attending school, adding that worrying numbers are being employed or that girls are getting into early child marriage. Some hope schools will reopen in October, though the government hasn't announced anything. So as their former classmates don their private school uniforms, Kotek and her two children still have no clear idea when they will return.